I would never let someone outwork me. I feel like that's something you can control. I'm not focused on what some analyst says about me because I don't play this game to satisfy nobody. I play this game to be the best. Um, I do regret not being at home with my daughter. You know, I have a two-year-old daughter, uh, Avery. And, um, you know, I sacrificed a lot trying to just, you know, do the best I can to make sure that I can take care of her future. And, you know, my main thing with that is football. You know, that's my main way out to really give Avery that way out and give her financial security, you know, someday. Now, that's, uh, that's what I'm most proud of. He's, uh, he loves Avery. He does a good job being a young father. He was like um, 18 when she was born or turning 19. You know what? At first, I thought that was going to be difficult. But watching him now, he's a, he's a, he's a great father. And to, and to see him with her and then with him balancing school on top of that, I think, I think, I think he's doing a great job of it. I really do. You know, Avery is a girl. <laughs> I think if he had given a choice, he probably would have picked a boy. So I think that took some getting used to. So a lot of her initial pictures is um, Avery holding Chase's football. Um, <laughs> you know, he had talked about how first shoes would be special made cleats. <laughs> you know, just do those kinds of things. But he moved on and he's okay with her being a girl. And now he can interact with her as a girl and not rough and tough. Anytime I was uh, faced with a challenge, always repeat uh, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. So I'll say that three times before a game, and then I'll say, God, give me confidence. I find it ironic 4.13 is also his birth date. I'm not sure how he chose uh, Philippians 4.13. He may have gotten it from his father or Uncle Joe. I'm not sure. I don't know how he fell in love with that verse. I really don't. But when, I, when, I, I, when he told me that that's the verse that he really loves, I, don't, I think he couldn't have picked a better verse, you know what I mean? Because you can't do nothing without Christ. You can't. And you can do all things with him beside you, you know? So I don't know what he, where, where he, um, how it came about, but all I know is, you know, I think it's the best verse in the world that he could have chosen. And then um, I have a tattoo that says, rest in peace, Uncle Joe, because he was like my second father in my life. And every game, I always tell him, you know, I always look into the sky and I say, man, this game's for you, Uncle Joe. And I know he's watching. And, uh, you know, he's another big motivational uh, reason for why I play this game the way I do. And that's one of the rituals I do. Oh, my God, Uncle Joe and Chase. Uncle Joe is my brother, okay? He passed around maybe 12 years ago, okay? And um, he would make every one of Chase's games. He will always come down on a Friday night and stayed a whole weekend because he lived in Jersey. So he would always end up, he would always get here on a Friday night and would stay the whole weekend and would just cheer him on. It was nothing like Uncle Joe and Chase. And I think when he, when he passed, he took it really hard. And then he said, Dad, everything I do from here on out, I'm gonna dedicate it to Uncle Joe. And that's what he's been doing. He was uh, very influential. Joe didn't play football himself, but he would come to all of Chase's games as a uh, no Smurf Pee Wee pony and supported him. And then off the field, they like played around a lot, did a lot of like man boy jokes and uh, probably taught him some things earlier than he should have learned them. <laughs> so I, I think that's, that, that was the influence. I'm a gummy bear fiend, so like, you know, these guys probably know it, but uh, I have stashes and stashes of gummy bears. I love gummy bears, and uh, 
I have one rule, like, you know, if you come to the apartment, like, you don't touch my gummy bears. You can touch anything else in my room but my gummy bears and my Xbox. I don't care if you touch my clothes. I don't care if you try on my clothes, try on my shoes, whatever you want to do, but don't touch my gummies and my Xbox. <laughs> now, gummy bears started, I don't know, maybe when he was three or four. Um, Chase's father loves candy, uh, and particularly, like, gummy candy and hard candy. Chase, for whatever reason, was drawn to, like, the, the chewy candy, never ate chocolate and any of that stuff, and so gummy kind of came out on top. I don't know, I don't know, to tell you the truth, I don't know where it came from, how it started, because I'm, 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 I'm a jelly belly guy, you know what I mean? So, hey, gummy bears, yeah, jelly belly, just a thing, you know what I mean? But um, I, I don't know where that came from, I really don't. But he loves gummy bears. I don't know if it's true or not, but his sister gave him a five pound gummy bear she did. for his birthday <laughs> once. <laughs> she did, it was a single giant gummy bear, I think it was red, his favorite flavor, it was huge. He ended up having to share it with um, his best friends like Shane and Malik. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, the gummy bear socket. Just... You believe it's the first time you shared those gummy bears? Oh, that, that one large one no. he shared. Now he doesn't share his individual packs. He did share them with Avery on Saturday, that probably was a first. But no, nobody touches his gummy bears. <laughs> Obviously, you know, if, if NFL players, you know, they're, they're always financially set as long as, you know, take care of your money. And for me, I really want to take care of my family. You know, I already have a, a little to-do list of if I ever get that first check of what I want to do, you know, I want to pay for my sister's college debt off. I want to be able to save up enough money where Avery can go to any college that she wants to when she gets accepted to. I want to be able to move my mom out to Arizona with my sister. You know, I got a lot of things that I really want to do for my family just because of how much they sacrificed for me.